guys, and welcome to another episode of IDK Gaming. Today for you, I've got some more League of Legends gameplay. So now, uh, in this video, I'm going to explain the role of jungle, and to fill this role, I am playing as the champion Warwick. For my two summoner spells, I grabbed Ghost and Smite. So we'll go ahead and jump into this game once it loads. So as you can see on my team, I have Zed, LeBlanc, Riven, Draven, and we're going against Zin Xiao, Garen, Trundle, Teemo, and Swain. Alright, now that we're loaded in, make sure everything's set up well. So for items in the jungle, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab Hunter's Machete, 5 healing potions, and then the uh, sweeping lens here. And then we are going to go ahead and head out to blue. So uh, with Warwick and with most most uh, champions that I jungle with, I usually like to uh, get the blue buff, which is at this camp here. I usually like to get it first. So then uh, as I'm traveling throughout the other camps, I have uh, better mana regen and cooldown reduction to allow me to uh, use skills more often and drop camps faster. So we'll go ahead and wait for uh, the blue buff to spawn here and we'll have Riven help me uh, leash it. Usually spawns at around 1 minute 50 seconds. So we'll wait for that to spawn in here. The first uh, skill that I got here is Hungering Strike which deals uh, magic damage to the target and then heals Warwick for 80% of the damage dealt and has this uh, area the casting area there as you can see depicted by the uh, blue ring alright so it should come here any second now there it is we'll go ahead and grab it here go ahead and smite so uh, Smite is a very important summoner spell to have when you're playing in the jungle. It deals true damage to monsters, scaling, uh, starting off at 390 and maxing out uh, once you're level 18 at 1000 true damage. Uh, so, and it has a relatively low cooldown, so it's helpful to uh, drop large monsters such as the uh, blue golem that we just dropped there. Let's see. For a second skill we'll go ahead and grab um, Hunter's Call here which gives Warwick a uh, attack speed bonus and also grants it to uh, allies that are in the area so it gives a 40% bonus as you can see there over 10 seconds. So uh, the path that I like to take with Warwick for the jungle. I start out with blue as I said, then I go to wolves, then I go to wraiths, then I go to the golems which are over here, and then red if I have enough health and smite back up. So I'll go ahead and head down to the golems down here. So uh, one of your major jobs as jungler is to uh, help the other lanes by ganking so the uh, sweeping lens here helps you one watch for uh, counter junglers and uh, wards in your jungle and it also helps you when you're attempting to uh, gank a lane that you can check for a ward before you go in go ahead and get hungry and strike again just because of its heal ability. Go ahead and take the red buff here. Got that. So the uh, red buff deals magic damage to targets that you attack as a burn, which you can see described here. So 
So that's helpful just for uh, dealing extra damage. Go ahead and get wraiths again. Then we'll get golems again. Then we'll get wolves again. So, uh, due to uh, Warwick's hungering strike, he has good um, sustainability for out in the jungle. He can heal up and not have to recall to base as often. So that is a nice thing about him. Now we can see that uh, our top is having a little bit of trouble, so I'll go ahead and head up there and help them out. So we'll go ahead and uh, just scare these guys off here. Help get the uh, kill on Garen there. Try to see if we can get. Uh, no, looks like Zen Shao's gonna get away. That's fine. Helped push the lane here for Riven. I'll go ahead and get my E, which uh, gives me a attack speed bonus when there's, or not attack speed, sorry, a movement speed bonus when there's an enemy below 50% health within its range, and the range uh, increases av as you uh, level it up. And we'll go ahead and keep jungling here so we don't fall behind in level. I'm going to go ahead and stay out here until I get to level 6 and then recall. So once you get to level 6 with a majority of junglers such as Fiddlesticks and Warwick, um, you gain a better capability of ganking due to their ultimate. So that's usually when I pick up the uh, amount of ganks that I provide for my fellow teammates' lanes. Go ahead and head over here to the blue buff. wait a little bit so we get hunter's call enough mana for it and then we'll go ahead and go away smite him grab our ultimate here and then we'll go ahead and recall so we can spend uh, some money Alright, so the next item that I'm going to go ahead and buy here, I'm going to buy the boots. And then with Warwick, I like to build pure attack damage. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the pickaxe here. And then I'm going to buy these rejuvenation beads. Just to give me better uh, sustainability out there in the jungle and when helping out lanes. All right, let's see where. Go ahead and try to help. Uh, looks like we're not gonna be able to get there in time though. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to really do anything down there. So we'll just keep going here. Alright, we'll go ahead and head up to top lane and 
gank for Riven since Zen Xiao and Garen are pushing quite hard for her. Grab my ultimate off on him. See if we can chase him down. He p popped his ghost as well, so not going to be able to chase him down. Sadly, we lost Riven there. We'll just go ahead and back off of Garen so we don't die from him. <laughs> Got lucky there. Uh, Zin Xiao came back in to try to help Garen get the kill. And he gave us our uh, movement speed bonus, so... That helped out our escape, so that worked out well. Let's go ahead and heal up and then head back out. Hopefully we can get back up top before the tower falls, but don't know if that's... Looks like Riven got there. Try to hurry up and help her out there we go got the uh, assist on Garen there will we'll help uh, Let her push the lane, and then I'll go ahead and come try to help out uh, LeBlanc here. Wait for my uh, sweeping lens to get up so I can check for a uh, shroom, but it doesn't look like there's any up. Looks like the lane is going fine for her, for her so I'm going to go ahead and back off since I need to level up some so I don't fall behind. Uh, we'll grab third level of Hungry and Strike here and then we'll just keep continuing working on these rays and working our way around the lanes. Since they have two top know that they don't have a jungler so we'll go ahead and try to grab their blue buff here see if Timo pushes then we can kill him get the ultimate off on him there we go grab the kill on him We'll go ahead and level up my E again, so in situations like that, it will be useful. Now we'll actually, instead of grabbing the blue buff, we'll go ahead and help out top before we lose another tower up there. It'd be nice if I had blue buff right now, but don't have time to grab it before I need to help her. Nope, not going to be able to get in range of him either since I popped Ghost and so did he. Now we'll go ahead and head down and grab the blue buff. Alright, well, kill wise, 17 for our team, 13 for theirs, so not going bad kill wise however we are down tower wise I believe 
Actually, looks like we're even, so. Alright, I was gonna go ahead and try to get the uh, kill on Zen Xiao here, but. Looks like he's not gonna come back, so I'll go ahead and recall. Then I'll go ahead and fin the finish. Oh, <laughs> excuse me if I can speak here. Finish the first video here. Hope you guys are enjoying so far, and we'll pick it back up in the next video. So, uh, Dasvidanya and game on.